Good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting discussion that I had with my student at Curtin University today. Uh, we were having a discussion about uh, blockchain and its application in the mining industry, mining as in mining metals or uh, iron ore and so on. So my student asked me a very interesting question uh, and that was if uh, during the mining activity one of the person, one of the miners working on site is um, badly injured or dies uh, on a site and that information is recorded on the blockchain. What happens when this information is shared with the consumer at the end? Would the consumer be cautious or would reconsider purchasing uh, a, a piece of say a piece of gold uh, or a, a gold ornament uh, made from that batch of gold that came from a time when somebody lost their life so it's a very interesting question and a very interesting uh, discussion uh, we had today and I thought it is uh, something that uh, I should talk about in the context of blockchain because blockchain records uh, the history of a particular thing for its entire life so let's let's just uh, break this down uh, see how the uh, gold supply chain uh, works and what happens when such a thing occurs so uh, I did a earlier video on mining uh, on supply chain for gold mining you can refer to that as well but basically uh, when the uh, the mining begins the gold ore is extracted it is uh, all that information that gets recorded onto a blockchain and the customer when buying a piece of gold uh, either uh, uh, as a bar of gold or a jewelry made out of gold uh, can trace the history of that uh, that piece of gold back to its origin now let's consider a scenario where a user no, sorry where a buyer uh, is at a, at, at a jewelry shop uh, he likes he or she likes a particular piece of jewelry decides to purchase it uh, and then wants to uh, check the history uh, of this gold uh, opens up their mobile phone scans um, a barcode or anything any tracking ID uh, that that piece of uh, jewelry has and realizes that uh, there was a fatality uh, during the production of this batch of gold what happens next uh, is an interesting uh, interesting question uh, both from the perspective of the uh, buyer uh, who wants to make a purchase as well as from the uh, company uh, who is selling that piece of gold so there may be a group of customers who are picky about this aspect so they say I do like this piece of jewelry I'm really interested in buying it but I don't want to buy this particular piece because it has uh, an unfortunate history associated with with it and decides not to buy it and requests the uh, jeweler to make exactly exact replica of the same piece of jewelry but using uh, gold that did not have such a history associated with it it raises very interesting questions from the perspective of uh, buyers and sellers so what would the for, for, for buyer it is okay because uh, he or she just decides not to buy or request another piece made uh, the buyer uh, is uh, in a way okay with that but for the supplier for the seller uh, for the gold merchant it is a big problem because that piece of gold would always have that history associated with it and it would never go away yep so even though the uh, the, uh, the jeweler could make another piece of jewelry for the uh, for the buyer but that piece of gold would always remain with him or her if uh, if the customers do demand such a thing on the other hand if the customers are um, do not care then that's fine it would also open up uh, opportunities for customers to bargain for the same piece of gold which is pro probably should be traded at the same price but they say because of such a such such a history associated with this piece of uh, gold I'm not going to pay the full price and I would uh, look for some discount so that that in, that opens up very interesting uh, things uh, interesting uh, discussions um, personally uh, I don't know uh, how this this would turn out but it's a very interesting thing uh, to think about um, and uh, what 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 might happen in the future so we discussed that and then my student asked another interesting question she said 
what happens if the jeweler decides to melt this gold and make another jewelry out of it and I also gave it a thought and I thought uh, see what would happen is even if they were to melt that piece of jewelry and make another one the information about the origin of the gold has to be added onto the blockchain from somewhere at, yeah so if this piece of gold is melted that information would would track back to the original gold anyway so it would not make sense to melt a piece of jewelry and redo it um, showing that it's a completely new and that would that would be in a sense a kind of forgery so and that that defeats the purpose of having blockchain so on that note yeah i, I thought i should share this idea uh, share this thought it was an interesting discussion and uh, i look forward to see what you what you all have to say about this it's a very interesting question and uh, to ponder upon uh, thanks a lot and have a wonderful day bye bye